Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Saturday, November 5th at Central Park. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. The Pasadena Out of the Darkness Walk is presented by ColourPop. Register today at AFSP.org slash Pasadena. Welcome to the BetQL Daily Boost. I'm Lucy Burge of BetQL.com, and I am joined by Nick Ashu, and we have a tremendous odds boost for all of you today on Cooper Cup to have over nine and a half receptions and a touchdown boosted to plus 350 at Caesars. So he had 13 receptions in week one, 11 in week two. Great chance he can hit this over here in week four, and he has one, he, one touchdown in week one, another one in week two. So there, there are certain people, right, where you just look at them anytime touchdown or a certain amount of yards where you just can count on them. And that's Cooper Cup. Yes. Also, from a fantasy perspective, since I have him on a fantasy roster, I really like him to do this as well. That would help me a lot, Lucy. But yeah, it's it's Cooper Cup. And I, I'd love to sit here and just say we can throw out all these trends. Everybody knows what Cooper Cup is able to do. That's the point of bringing in this boost by itself, where it's all just based on you're getting a value that's pretty high from Cooper Cup to do things that he normally does. So, you know, in all honesty here, I'm comfortable with it just because the name Cooper Cup is literally sitting right there when it comes to this. Exactly. When I saw this odds boost, I thought, okay, we got to get in on this one because Cooper Cup is always a jaw-dropping value odds boost here at plus 350 yep. at Caesars. Get that as soon as you can and head to betql.com slash boosts to see all of today's best odds boosts and check out our exclusive sports book offers as well. Follow us on Twitter at Nick Ashu and at Lucille Burge. We have our favorite bets for today. Monday night football. I am going with the Rams money line plus 105 I got this against the 49ers of course so the Rams are 2 and 1 this season I think they can make it 3 and 1 here against the 1 and 2 49ers even though Jimmy Garoppolo now at the helm see if this makes a difference but there are some trends in favor of the Rams on the money line Sean McVay is 18 and 3 off a win against a division rival while coaching the Rams 26 and 6 off a division game while coaching the Rams and 9 and 2 off a road win against a division rival while you guessed it coaching the Rams so the Rams are also averaging 20.33 points scored per game the 49ers are averaging 15.67 points scored per game so I think the Rams can get the win here on the stage of Monday Night Football I'm going the other way going the other way Lucy and, okay. and it's difficult because I like it you know I like the 49ers to at least cover in this 49ers minus one and a half now granted these are two rivals they've seen each other a lot uh it's, it's difficult to handicap both of these teams, right? Because right now we've seen an inconsistency from the Rams. Matt Stafford, well, is kind of doing what he did last year, right? Turning the football over. We know that that offense has been up and down, especially when it comes to running the football. The 49ers, though, I understand that their upside is not as high because Trey Lance is no longer going to be out there for them this season, right? We understood what the whole goal was of Kyle Shanahan was be more mobile quarterback. He can do more things. You can't do the same thing with Jimmy Garoppolo. That being said, I know what the floor is for the 49ers, and that's why I've been a little more comfortable since Jimmy Garoppolo has been out there. Now, he's going through a preseason. Essentially, this is his preseason, but the difference here is that he's seen the Rams obviously plenty of times before, and on top of that, like he's played with the rest of this roster. Like He's kind of warming up and going through that whole process because he didn't play in the preseason and was just kind of standing on the sidelines and not actually doing anything when they thought they were going to trade him. So I I know at least what the floor is with the 49ers, so I'm comfortable here knowing the fact that they're home and you have no longer Trey Lance, but you have Jimmy Garoppolo and what this offense can be. They can at least run the football more. We know what the defense is going to be able to do. So I'm going to take the 49ers because of the fact they are at home here and Jimmy Garoppolo is out there at quarterback. Exactly. He's not like he's a fourth string quarterback like Bailey right. Zappi or anything right. like that. Jimmy right, Garoppolo right. looking at his former team like, what are you guys doing? Yeah, by but the way, yesterday, I mean, looking at the Patriots, I mean, you're just like, they're, it's one quarterback after another after another. Yeah. That, and Couldn't you know what? I don't believe it. I don't, I don't Brian believe Hoyer. I don't feel bad for you Patriots fans at all. You guys have had a lot of success. Yeah. That's it's, why it's, it's okay. It's going to be a struggle now. It's going to be a struggle. <laughs> it's it's Bailey Zappi season, everybody. I mean, I could not believe. I, I was like, Zappi I can't season. wait yeah. to see what Brian Hoyer does. He gets a head injury. <laughs> That's what he does. I couldn't. And back Jones out with an injury. Then Brian Hoyer out with an injury. Who would have been the fourth quarterback? Yeah. 
was my question. Bill Belichick would not say, but I my thinking would be take oh, wow. Julian Edelman was a quarterback in college. Take him out of retirement, bring him in as quarterback. <laughs> and that's how Edelman <laughs> comes back into the NFL as the fourth string quarterback for the Patriots behind Bailey Zappi, Mac Jones, Jr. <laughs> Everybody happy Monday night football and subscribe to the VetQL daily boost, wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Maggie Steffens, three-time Olympic gold medalist and current record holder for most goals in the Olympic Games. Training for the Olympics, it can get so stressful. It's nice to be able to just enjoy the water. It's my happy place. When that happy place is ruined by trash, it makes me sad. If we don't dispose of our litter properly, it affects our precious waterways. Don't drop trash and make sure plastics get in the right recycling bin. Please do the right thing to help keep our highways and waterways clean. Visit cleanwaterca.com. Brought to you by the Caltrans. And stormwater program.